Hello guys, welcome to another new video. Filmora just released another new update, Filmora version 12.1.5. So what's new in this new update? So without any delay, let's get started. First of all, you can see I already updated to the latest version Filmora version 1.5. If you are still not downloaded the latest version, then go check for update and update from here. So the first update is timeline update. Now you can use Alt plus click, Shift plus click and Ctrl plus click keyboard combination to perform copy, align and insert clips on the timeline. So let's see how it works. First of all add a video into the timeline. So previously when you copy this video, you need to right click on this and copy and then right click on this and paste. This is the previous version. Now in this update, it's so easier. For copy, you can hold alt and drag to upper side and you can see it have been copied. Again, you want to copy this, just hold Alt key and paste and drag like this. And you can see it's copy. It's a very useful update for this. You can now edit faster for this shortcut. Also, you can use Shift plus click for aligned video. And also you can use Ctrl plus click for insert clips on the timeline. The next update is you can now copy and paste transition directly on the timeline. So let's see how it works. So first of all add video into the timeline. So then go transition and add a transition in here. So we need to transition in here also. So previously we dragged this transition to here for add transition. For in this update, we can copy this transition. For copy this, right click on this and select copy. Then go here and select this and right click on this and select paste. And you can see our transition has been added. It's another very useful update for editing faster. So let's see. So as you can see, it's working fine. Then the next update is select tool, audio stress tool and quick split tools are put together on a timeline. As you can see is a selection tool. When you click this a new window appear here and you can see here quick split tool and audio stress tool. You can select your tools from this drop down. The next update is the scrolling direction of the timeline are now switchable in keyboard shortcuts. For this, go keyboard shortcut, then go view and here you can see the horizontal scroll is scroll up and down and the vertical scroll, control plus scroll up and down. You can switch between these. You can choose your desired one from here. Then the next update is for titles. The first update is title is the text you input after editing the titles are now shown directly on the title clip in the timeline. So let's see how it shows. So first of all add a title into the timeline. Then edit your title from here. And there you can see I write it here Mr. Mahmood. And you can see the preview is here Mr. Mahmood show here. You can write anything here, it directly shows in here. Let's write hello. And you can see here shows hello. And it's a very useful update to find your title. For titles, the second update is optimized the default border and shadow preset for creating SRT subtitles. Let's see how it works. First add a SRT file and drag to the timeline. You can see it's a SRT file and here's no effect apply on text. But in this update, you can customize this effect with presets. So for this, right click on this and go advanced edit. 
and we can see a new window appear here for edit your subtitle go any subtitle and go preset and here you can see there's so much presets available here you can choose your desired one and click apply and here you can see a button called apply to all just click on this for apply to all subtitles and here you can see the effect is showing the next update is for property panel now you can use the control plus mouse wheel combination to zoom in and out in the preview player directly so let's see how it works so first of all add a video into the timeline then click on this preview player and hold control key and you can use zoom in and zoom out for mouse scrolling and it's also very useful for faster editing the next update is now added a checkbox in export setting window to remember the last export profile so let's see how it works first of all click on export and here you can see a new checkbox appear in here that's called use last export setting for local when this setting is checked each export will use the previous export setting by default but you can see i can't check this maybe it's a bug i think filmora will fix it very soon the next update is now you can able to set default project settings for a starting project quicker next time let's see how it works for this go file and go project settings and here you can see there's so many project and also a button called save as default now you can see my default is 16 ratio 9 if you want to change it just select your ratio and click save as default then change then you can see it's changed then go file and go project settings again and you can see now it's default so it's a another very useful update for starting project quicker next time then the next update is the recommendation in audio library can be filtered as music and sound effect so go audio and here you can see there's two option one is music and one is sound effect now you can individually select and search your sound effect or music so here is the all update in Filmora latest version. Without this update, there's many short update added in here like optimize your workflow for sharing files and there's many bug fixed and more. So if you are still not update, please update to the latest version for enjoy this update. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.